bit more for fun here. It means we'll make somewhat different choices than usual. How different? A little unclear. I'm still going to make strong choices. Like if we get floor one apotheosis here, I'm taking it from the colorless card. We do have to beat a slime boss. That's kind of tough. Hand agreed, get in here. Apotheosis, get in here. Yeah, what do we got? Hand agreed, get in here. Let's have a hand agreed, Rodden. That sounds pretty cool. Does lots of damage. And if we kill something with it, it will make us rich. Beyond our wildest dreams. Sounds too good to be true. Well, it ain't. It's just true. That said, overall path is pretty mediocre. Maybe we can earn enough money to make this shop worth it. Let's see here. Very curious how much money we can make from zero in four floors. Find out. Thirty-four on the first floor. With a well-laid plans, allowing us to retain up to one card. Perfect way to make Hand of Greed line up every turn. 150 more gold with a curse, says the serpent. Deal, says I. Let's go to that shop. Okay, but still a couple more floors to go. Now, this was a good fight. Now we're up to 239 gold with by the third floor. A little bit of zero cost damage from Endless Agony sounds just fine. I don't like Deadly Poison versus the Slime Boss here. How's it going, Gary? Was going to say something about the clad runs, but you thought it better to stay silent. It's all right. I consider to be... I consider chatty viewers to be a defect. I'd prefer if you stuck to being a watcher. Time for some money. Perfect block, too. I like it. Okay, so in three floors, or, or rather from four floors, from zero gold, we got 292. That's pretty dang good. Very happy with that. No, oh, love it. Don't you think insulting your viewers might bring about your downfall? You could end up as a hermit. Well done, well done. Do I ever consider an early Caltrops here? Kind of like it in silent decks that don't want poison. Good for the late game. Could make Hand of Greed a little awkward, but I'm not overly concerned by it, usually. I'm going to grab this. It's a bit speculative. But I think this could be really good late game. Also helps in the short term, quite frankly. More power is better for the elites here. Second well-laid plans. Curious. And Nib is good with Hand Agreed. Given that we're going into an elite fight next floor and I have no potions, we should probably buy at least one potion. 
that said, perhaps the toolbox is the best thing to buy relic-wise. I like that it gives us a choice of card on turn one, which could be very strong. I'm a toolbox enjoyer. Toolbox enjoyers rise up indeed. Let's get rid of the curse. And yes, let's buy a strength potion rather than a well-laid plans. Because we need to be able to kill this elite. Good luck to us. This one's even tougher. But it's Gremlin Knob, and we get a Swift Strike. That'll have to be good enough, I guess. I feel like there's no way we kill Knob in three turns. But we'll do our best. Strike is more damage than Caltrops will be, so we just go Strike, Strike, Retain Hand Agreed here. So we should retain neutralize then, knowing that we're failing to kill, right? Actually, hold on. 22 plus 5, 8, 8, 12. Math time. That is a kill, actually. We can't kill with a Hand Agreed because we need to spend two energy on strikes next turn. But that does kill, which means we can play Hand Agreed, neutralize this turn. Take only six and win the fight. I'll take that. Pay, pay 20 gold, kill the Grumlin Knob, basically. Seems good to me. Really good strength potion, as you can see. We were not getting that kill without the potion. Now we have a shuriken, so we can make our own strength. And 80% potion odds? Oh, good lord. Hmm. Concerning. Deeply concerning. Might have to take poison stab here. I really want to take backflip, but I might have to take poison stab. This is what, either Legavulin or Sentries? Actually, it's not that bad, huh? We can take backflip. We can take backflip. Legavulin's not that bad with the Hand Agreed and the Shuriken. And the powers. Okay, okay. I'll panic less here. We do want to upgrade the Hand Agreed for five more damage, five more gold. It's actually the damage that matters more here. We want to kill a Sentry early. We want to kill uh, Legavulin even at minus four strength. But I'm definitely a little concerned by this with no potion. Strength sentries, that's not too bad. We get second hand of greed or a flash of steel. I'll take second hand of greed, actually. I think that's going to make me big money here. Big, big money. Let's put you in hog range. Although we're going to take a lot of damage every turn here. That's for sure. How's it going, Onion Knight? Having a point of strength is a little bit tempting, but... Get our health here. Make sure it's in range of either hand agreed. Ouch. Okay, we're guaranteed the other Hand Agreed next turn. So we can do Hand Agreed here. Retain Strike. Then Strike Hand Agreed. Hmm. 
That was pretty costly, but I'm not surprised. Um, given that we didn't have a potion. Uh, we do get pretty good reward, though. Strike Dummy makes our strikes more damaging, which definitely saves us in the short term. Uh, Dupe Pot's pretty good potion. Riddle with Holes is cute here. I think we're fine with the current cards. Um, we can just rest at the next rest site. All we have to do is get through a couple more floors. It shouldn't be that hard with the current deck. You could maybe take Flying Knee there, but I don't feel the need to. Even more reward for card spam. Okay, Blade Dance, please. And let's take a block card for turn one against this medium slime here. Hmm. We should be able to hand agreed both resulting slimes when we split this thing. So let's set up for a good split first. Lots of slime in the deck. Yummy. Of course, there's a difference between can in theory hand of greed and can in practice hand of greed. So far so good though. There we go. And we're already back up to over 200 gold here. It's pretty insane. Acrobatics can make it so that we can get back to the hand agreed kind of easily. And can allow us to pick up some other decent attack cards, perhaps. Like Eviscerate, Sneaky Strike, that sort of thing. I like it, with the well-laid plans especially. Let's grab an Acrobatics here. Astrolabe into colorless cards. Yeah, if you transform a colorless card, you'll get a trans you'll get a colorless card back. So if you transform bite, that'll do it. Piercing Whale in particular, I value quite a bit with the well laid plans. I think that's quite good here. Do I dare take an event? I don't think I do. Well, actually. Can't die, right? Good potions. I've got good cards. Could be a heal. Let's take an event. It's a matching keep, which could be amazing or could be terrible, depending on what we get offered here. Currently, die, 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 neutralize. Cloak and dagger, I would take. So we can get an extra neutralize if we want it. I don't want a shame. I don't really want another Caltrops. I don't think I want two neutralizes. Okay. We get nothing. Oh, well, not too bad. Better than getting a curse, at least. Hmm. Ooh. 
we might be resting going into Slime Boss. Maybe. Hmm. In theory, we could get a lot of money from this fight. In practice, we have some other issues to deal with here. Although I am willing to take, I think, four here. Just to get our well-aid plans down. Seems fine. Okay. We can play four attacks. Strike, strike, agony, agony. Get an Unchaku energy back. Can I get two kills with four attacks? No. So I think we acro looking for Piercing Whale, and if we don't get it, then we have to block pot. We do strike, neutralize, defend. Block 10. Take only two, actually. Or if I keep the block potion, we can get 25 more gold. Or rather, if I use the block potion, we can get 25 more gold. But I think we should be mostly concerned with what gets us through slime boss here, not what gets us rich. But let's do this line. Show me the money. Okay, now knowing all of our resources going into Slime Boss, we can make a more informed choice about whether or not to rest here. I have to admit, I'm definitely a little worried. Uh, if it weren't for Strike Dummy, I think we'd be very, very much in a bad spot here. I'm still worried enough that I think we might need to consider Riddle with Holes because it goes with a Shuriken. And we may need to consider using both potions and resting, just to get through Slime Boss alive. Feels bad. So let's do that. Let's take the Riddle with Holes, because I think it, with the Shuriken it's okay. Scales up pretty fast. And we want enough health to, at least with the Block Potion, um, be able to tank the first hit from Slime Boss. Otherwise, we risk bad times. I'll take zero cost random attacks, though. That sounds like it could be pretty good. What do you got? Okay. That zero cost sneaky strike could be particularly good, actually. Especially with the skewer. Or with the acrobatics. I like it.
Okay, that was a pretty good turn. Um, we actually don't draw the Riddle with Holes. Curious. Hmm. Let's do this. So the hope is that we can get uh, four kills here. Seems pretty unlikely, but we'll try. Guess that means I shouldn't play Keltrops, probably. way. Should have played strikes first, actually. Uh, you're the only one I can kill now. It's fine. There's no need to be so spooky. Okay, 50 gold is fine. Quite happy with our escape from Act 1 here. We've got two potions. We've got 500 gold. We have some pretty good relics. And I like this die, die, die going into Act 2 here to give us a bit more area damage. Another attack to go with a shuriken and the nunchaku. Last kerfuffle with 42 months. The true answer to life, the universe, and Baylor Lord. Interesting. There's no energy offered here. Definitely a tough set of boss relics here. Tiny house for a bunch of stuff. Ring of the Serpent for one draw per turn, but we lose our turn one extra draw. It's actually not the worst Ring of the Serpent ever, but I don't know. I don't like it much. Or uh, Astrolabe here which can transform and upgrade three cards. A little bit less good to transform strikes than normal. But I could see doing strike, strike, defend pretty happily. That's right, Ring of the Serpent is not net positive until turn three in terms of card draw, which definitely makes it uh, tough to want. It's really only good in boss fights, is my opinion of this. So I, I prefer to avoid when possible. Especially going into Act 2, you really need your turn 1 to be very consistent. That said, having it a, a better turn 1 does make it a little bit easier to take. So with the toolbox, I'm a little bit happier. Only a little bit with the Ring of the Serpent here. Turn 1 is the most important turn, that's for sure. Let's transform and upgrade 3. Oh my, we get Grand Finale prepared and bullet time plus. I actually really dig all that. That's pretty cool. And if we can hit multiple shops, which we totally can, and therefore remove multiple times, we can make this even better. The more removes we can get from here, the better. And the hand agreed will allow us to do that quite consistently. Could take two fights before the first shop rather than one in an event. 
Events could be removals, though. Yeah, given that we already have the Will Aid plans, it's pretty freaking sweet. Caltrops is going to show off today. Maybe. Riddle with Holes is going to show off today. Let's start by blocking. Actually, I'd prefer not to kill them with Keltrops, because, uh, well, you know, and agreed. But if they make me, then I will. Play it. It's okay to miss one or two hand agreeds here. Two it is then. <laughs> Long line of hooded figures offer us money right before the shop. I say yes. Ritual dagger is a very cool way to kill uh, late game enemies if you keep stacking it. However, where we're going removes our king. We're rich. <laughs> We score a freaking membership card for a 50% discount on all products, which is insane here. Especially alongside the Gremlin Horn for a card draw and an energy per kill. Take that. And I'm going to remove a strike, please. Filthy Rich. Footwork's pretty good, too. Footwork is very good. I'll take a footwork. Thanks. What about Flash of Seal? Flash of Steel is also very good. Good talk. Nice try, thieves. Good enough. Oh, heck no. Get out of here. Better. Um, can I just kill it? I'd prefer to hand agreed here. We're going right into a shop with money. Yeah, yeah, I want to hand agreed here. Perfect. We can go neutralize, footwork, good instincts. Only take two here. We're loaded. Slice plus. Actually quite good here. Does nine damage for zero energy. Although, it, the finale puts it to shame, so I think fewer cards is better. No, we should we should not add unnecessary cards here. We should remove cards. Rose and I makes grand finale very powerful. 
Frozen Eye is very strong. We might also want to consider Paper Crane, which is similarly strong, making our Weaken way stronger. Although I can't do Paper Crane Carter Move, I can do Frozen Eye Carter Move. So that's probably the winner there. Oops. Go too deep into Finale and die to heart, they say. I could, I could definitely see that being a problem. Although only if we don't go deep enough. Hmm. Might want to use liquid memories here. The dramatic entrance, riddle with holes, die, 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 flash of steel is a pretty good start. Give me that. How much damage can I do? Three, sixteen, twenty-four. Should be just enough to kill the Red Slaver here. Just barely. Wait, no, I'm off by one? Bummer. Uh, I guess I want a Liquid Memories then. Yeah, 20 plus 14, 24. 34, rather. One off. So we could Liquid Memories the Riddle with Holes. That's the easy way to do this. Let's do that. Okay. Don't have well aid plans yet. Next turn, I only block 10. Unless I play footwork here. Which I should. Hmm. If I don't play the die, 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 though, then this hand agreed won't kill. So I guess I'll do that. But yeah, this turn kind of sucks. I guess it's a good block potion turn. There's always more potions where that came from. We could finale next turn, but I want to use the hand agreed to win the fight. So we'll discard it. Along with bullet time. Falling Snow, thanks for the Prime sub. Welcome to the Cozy Sub Club. Alright, Hand Agreed, next turn. Get a Sneko Skull, improving our poison. We don't have any poison, but, well, we could pick up some. Fumes or Flask are both here. I don't really feel like I need poison with the Shuriken, but it is an option. I say we go for some more Elites here. Elites and upgrades are good. Seems fine. Could remove artifact charges for piercing whale, well, that's true.
This will be a good fight for Grand Finale. I have to imagine. Okay. Uh, I think I want to have the plans and the piercing well together next turn, just in case we get attacked here. Certainly a possibility. So don't play prepared. Got it. Yeah, exactly. I could just smell something was off. I'd rather play plans than footwork. Take one here. Okay, we have Grand Finale lined up currently. Although, not if I kill the minions. Use you. That is not what we agreed to here. Hmm. I guess I could just backflip acrobatics, kill them. Seems fine. Easy peasy. Good fight. I actually maybe could have farmed a bit more Nunchaku charges by uh, attacking minions there, but whatever. Corpse Explosion is a nice poison card, but does have issues with Hand of Greed. In that we can't Hand of Greed things if they're being exploded by Corpse Explosion. Maybe a Simple Deflect is better here. Actually, a Simple Deflect looks really good with our Footwork Plus. Welcome, Simple Deflect. And look at this Panagraph. Three pantograph runs in a row. I'm happy with it. That's a great relic here. Totally good relic. Uh, I guess I'm upgrading neutralize. I guess so. Pantography is the study of pants. Do you want neutralize next turn, not this turn? But I'm wasting damage. Hmm. Eh, let's just go. Let's go Flash of Steel, Acrobatics, Bullet Time. Fortunately, we don't get the Willied Plan into our hand. Correct. Yeah. Then Chucky ends up at a 9 here. So we don't have either Weakness or Piercing Whale next turn. That's quite bad, actually. Hmm. Unless you're telling me I want to play backflip, well-aid plans, take 10. And then I can retain the other backflip and the piercing whale. I wish I had one more energy right now so we could backflip bullet time. This would be a lot better. I could try the power potion now. Although I think we're okay. If I just take 10 and, and retain piercing whale, this fight goes well. So yeah, let's do that. Backflip, Willade plans. 
the piercing whale backflip. We got Panagraph. I don't want to eat this attack. That would not be good. Much better. Go Piercing Whale, Caltrops. Deep Finale, Flash of Steel. Grand Finale. There we are. Get a mango for all that. 14 max health feels very good. Blade Dance is finally here, but I don't want it because we have Grand Finale now. Good talk. Funny. Lose my power potion. 91 gold with membership card or acrobatics to get a relic. You can have this smelly potion, Ranwood. Enjoy. Thanks for the toy ornithopter healing us when we use a potion. Hey, wait. My potion, you jerk. Sadistic nature is kind of cool. Don't actually have very many debuffs, though. Uh, turn one, we can go footwork. I can do a lot of stuff. Work backflip, flash of steel while well, he plans. Looks good. All right, I'll use that. Keep. Hmm. Keep what? Keep prepared acrobatics so I can get to piercing well next turn. Seems okay. Oh. Next turn's a bit of a mystery, though. I guess I could just block. Seems fine. Grand of Greed. I think he strikes. Time has passed, though. Nope. Where's the Reflex or uh, Tactician, though? That's what I want. And Finale. Getting it... Um, a free heal from Pentagraph here. So let's upgrade the acrobatics, I suppose. Card draw is the best thing at this point. And turn one is what? We can get to well eight plans as it is. I'll just take violence then. have uh, bullet time as well. I can play everything here. Seems good. Not too afraid of champ here. Maybe I should be. But I feel like we can pretty easily whittle him down and then do a lot of burst damage with one or two sudden finales here. 
maybe even a riddle with holes if we feel fancy. too much yet. Okay. Bricking the draw next turn? Not quite. No, no, no. I can um, backflip into prepared here. Or I can backflip now. I can strike. This keep. I don't know this. So we got prepared finale. Acro. Uh, we want to retain backflip. Next turn, we can backflip prepared. So we can play hand agreed now for the strength. Keep these two. Next turn, champ will enrage. Turn after that is the execute. We've managed to line up uh, not being vulnerable here, which is pretty good. We have a piercing well to help as well. 11 cards. So once again, we want to backflip. We can retain bullet time for next turn. Bullet time. Piercing whale looks pretty good here. I can even play this riddle with holes, looks like. Yeah, keep piercing whale, bullet time. Next turn, acrobatics. Draws to finale here. This doesn't seem too bad. And now we can just do this. Yeah, yeah, full block, yeah. Mr. Chump. Let's try, though. Nice try. GG. This is a very good champ fight. We're once again filthy rich. And there's that Envenom. If we want super powered... Um, actually, wait. That means Riddle with Holes would apply 10 poison. Which is kind of insane, actually. And a dad joke is required. I can do that. Did you hear about the mob boss who decided to have duplicates of himself made to fool the cops? They're doppelgangsters. I think I am going to take this in Venom. Just playing the grand finale may not be enough in the late game, although we do have Keltrops, right? Hmm. Maybe finale Keltrops is all we need. Can't upgrade them both, probably. Okay, let's, let's rely on Keltrops. This can remove artifact, though. That seems really important, actually. Okay, now I will take Invenom. We need that artifact removal, and we need it now. We also need more energy, and Coffee Dripper is the best possible way to get that, pretty much. We've got healing. We've got healing. Yeah. Coffee Dripper. Gain energy every turn, but we can no longer sleep. 
the uh, Dreamcatcher will be sad, but that's okay. Dreamcatcher was always going to be sad. Definitely want to go to two shops here. Two shops, again, means two more removals, which is very important with the finale. Barrex with the Prime sub and the four months of support. Many thank yous. Many, many thank yous. Secret weapons, specifically, huh? Neutralize, then. Thought that a bit more thoroughly. Now I'm kind of posed here. Is the die 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 doesn't kill? Oh well. That's what uh, healing relics are for. Probably. Probably. The 62, really? That's slightly too much damage. Bummer. <laughs> hmm. What do I do about that? Not sure. Bullet time is so much better with a little bit more energy as well. Big time. Yeah, I get poisoned. Should be enough. Cash money. Ooh, and an escape plan. Escape plan great with footwork. It's great with Frozen Eye, and it's great with Grand Finale because it allows us to draw one. So for all of those reasons, it super gets added here. I see Tactician is here. That's kind of cool. That could allow us to get energy when discarding with acrobatics. That can loop better. I'll definitely buy a tactician here. Hmm. That's an interesting one, Infrared Eclipse. I think you probably want to be very careful about relics that reward the player with healing, especially for taking a very long time in fights. cool as a concept, but you got to be wary of wanting to stall combats deliberately to take advantage of it sort of thing. You know, keep one enemy alive and then spam ten cards in one turn as much as you can before the fight's over. Even in some cases going so far as to deliberately pick cards or exhaust cards in order to get the game to a state where you're allowed to do this. Kind of wonky. Do I take a whetstone here? I'll take a sling of courage to give us two strength in the elite fights. I think that's good. Feel like I never take riddle with holes. We took it this time because of the shuriken. And I recall specifically needing more damage to get past slime boss. Yes, we took it because we were afraid of slime boss and we had the shuriken. Might be worth buying a potion here. 
Not like I don't have sp spare money, you know? Take a Liquid Memories. And I won't take either of these relics. Winding Halls. Actually, this is the sort of deck that could really, really, really make good use of Madnesses. I'm going to take them. Normally, I don't take these, but today I'm going to take them. Madnesses can make other cards cost zero. Uh, can I see the draw pile? I'm not allowed to. This is fine, right? Maybe not that fine. Secret tech gets me what? Acrobatics if I need it? Something like that? This is kind of spooky, actually. Upon review of the footage, this is terrifying. But I do have some stuffs that I can use. Some thingies, as it were. Definitely going to want to use bullet time here on turn one to do riddle with holes and die, die, die. Maybe even double riddle with holes. Can I just kill one right away with uh, Envenom double riddle with holes? Probably, actually. And I'm more than willing to use both potions to make that happen. Oh yeah, Secret Tech can fetch Acrobatics. We can discard the Tactician, too. And we can keep this turn going for quite a while, actually. Hmm. Yeah, I could also use Backflip Prepared here. Which actually makes more sense in terms of hand space. Let's lose the madness because I have bullet time. Two more energy. Okay, we definitely want to play this acrobatics with hand space. So maybe well aid plans, acrobatics. Draw to here. Flash of steel into endless agony. Then play bullet time. Discard this. I have to draw first before I play these. Okay, so bullet time makes the hand free. Venom is free. Now we gotta think a little bit. So currently we can do agony, agony, and then we have strength for da da die, riddle with holes. How much damage would that be? That'd be 6 plus 14 is 20, plus another 20, 40 base. And we apply 16 freaking poison. So 40 plus 16. It's not a kill. Even if I liquid memories riddle with holes for another 30 damage effectively, right? That won't kill. Let me just double check that. So we do 40 plus 16 plus 30. That's 86. That's not quite enough. But if we use both the Blessing of the Forge and the Liquid Memories, it sounds like that would kill. Although I don't necessarily need to kill this turn, right? Because Piercing Will Defend Defend blocks for quite a lot, does it not? Basically full blocking. We are full blocking if I just use the forge pot. And then we should probably be able to get a hand agreed kill next turn. Let's do this. It was fun to think through. Hmm. Next turn could be awkward.
25 plus 26 will not kill this thing yet. Surprisingly. Uh, so I need to riddle with holes this turn and wait. Till next turn. The easy way. So that went well. We scored lots of money. We get a Tingsha. When we discard a card during our turn, deal three damage to a random enemy. That definitely happens sometimes. And Blur or Outmaneuver our options. Blur is tempting. I don't think I want either of them. Let's take another event. I'm feeling it. It's a fight. It's very specifically three enemies in one. Just perfect, because we can make mad money here. Big dollars. Doom tolls. Foolish creatures. Yeah, just losing some stuff here. Want to get rid of all these one time use cards? Greed kills the repulsor next turn. We can slowly work down the spiker. With Tingsha. Or similar things. Like this, actually. There we go. Now Hand of Greed kills it. Speak of the devil. Backflip plus. There we go. That's worth adding. Eight block, draw two. The good uh, madness target, especially. We would like to upgrade the tactician probably next. Ooh, panache in this fight. That's pretty cool. Every time we play five cards in one turn, deal... 10 damage to all enemies. Sounds extremely useful, especially with the, of course, Gremlin Horn here. Opening hand is pretty terrible. Although. Just make my acrobatics free, thank you. Good talk. Don't have Willie plans down. Might have to use the Swift Potion next turn. Seems a bit rough. Yeah, this is pretty sad. Escape plan, Flash of Steel draws Survivor. And then my turn is very weak. But if I draw three more, Riddle with Holes can kill one of them. Then I draw even more. Draw here. We can bullet time. We can bullet time. Do Venom, Agony, Agony. That kills this one, too. Might have forgotten about Panache there. Oh, well. Uh, that worked just fine, ultimately. 
Now we get a turn to set back up. So let's deal some damage. Try to get back around here one more time. Okay. Looking good. Super Prismatic Shard. That's a cool sounding mod. Super Prismatic Shard. Upgrade two skills. Add another Piercing Whale. Every Piercing Whale we have is like three free turns against Heart. Very, very helpful. Expertise was also maybe worth considering. Maybe. mind having an upgraded whale, although I think you're right that up, picking up the whale, uh, picking up the war paint before taking the piercing whale might have been a good idea. Just maybe. Good hand next turn. Very good hand. Thirteen cards, huh? Okay, so I can play finale next turn, no problem. dead next time we do really anything. We talk. draw via Centennial Puzzle is more than welcome. And here's Reflex. If we discard this card from our hand, we draw two. Now the deck is really starting to come together in a very powerful way. Ink Bottle would have also helped tremendously, but I have to take the Sapphire Key here. And we are going to go for another Elite Fight. I believe in us. It's Giant Head this time. Shouldn't be too bad. Let's take something I can get rid of here. Start by just getting rid of cards that are one time use. They're possible. It's a lousy draw. Oh well. Or a lousy hit on the madness. Maybe this one will be better. Just maybe. He got madness. Survivor, huh? Let's see. Uh -huh. 
It is time. But I can handle that. Bullet time, that is. Keep Hand of Greed prepared, looks like. Hmm. Actually, just use the Hand of Greed. Keep Backflip prepared. Why are you still here? Okay, there's the Hand of Greed. We should be able to land that if we do this correctly. There we go. Question card's a bit late, but I'll take it. Mercury03, thanks for the 24 months of support. Two heckin' years. Yes, uh, Liquid Memories is an uncommon potion. Tools of the Trade... Well, a little worried we have too many powers, but that's a pretty good power here. One more draw per turn. One free discard at the start of each turn. I like it. I like it quite a bit, actually. Um, it's a relatively bad turn one. Yeah, that's a comparatively bad turn one. Consider the turn two. Hmm. There's no willy plans. Take a little bit of damage, that's fine. Probably even good, actually. And all my backflips. With my backflips, though. I guess this is fine again. Take zero here. Could be able to kill next turn with hand agreed. Yeah, seems fine. Seems totally fine. I'll just go backflip, backflip, hand agreed. There we go. Matthew, she says, is a new player. Blade Dance with an Nchaku Shuriken and Venom plus Sneko Skull sounds really good. It does, right? And it is pretty good, but it's not stupendously good, which is where the remaining cards in the deck are, notably the Grand Finale, which is just a card we're trying to play as much as possible, as well as looping back to our premium uh, block cards and cycling cards. So, yes, it is a good card. However, the, the answer is that, as is the case many times with deck builders, the deck is simply better off without it. Why add a card when we could not add a card and keep the consistency of having fewer cards total um, when we already have essentially the cards that, that perform the role the Blade Dance would do. We, we have a plan to deal damage. It's Finale, Invenom, Flash of Steel, Caltrops, and we really don't need more help with that. So that that's why not add Blade Dance here. Yeah, is the card necessary? An important question to ask yourself basically at all times and the answer is yes that acrobatics plus for 15 gold is necessary please and thank you 
Uh, other things to remove. We could think about losing Hand Agreed at this point, but I don't need to until the final shop. Let's lose the Riddle with Holes. That makes the Envenom bad. Let's lose one Defend. Let's buy a Speed Potion also. Holy crap, Speed Potion. How do we feel about Enlightenment Plus? It seems unnecessary, given that I have Madnesses. We're still freaking rich, too. Stars draw. Sticky curves. Thanks. The perfect full block if I do this. Talk. take a while for us to get rid of most of the exhausting cards so that the deck is thin and actually cycles correctly but once it happens oh boy it seems very strong wait good don't mess with that anymore Now, this is peak silent gaming right here. This hand, this is perfect silent. This is what you want. All the time. Another speed potion. Another acrobatics plus. I think two Acrobatics Plus is probably plenty at the moment, actually. My hand can only have so many cards. We would need a uh, Concentrate next. Naked Mancer, thanks for 40 months of support. Some people love dad jokes. Some consider them American Psy language. Oof. Dungeon Roll's not bad either, actually. But I think where we're going, we don't need it. Keep these two. Have we been doing silent runs all day? No, we did a couple ironclad runs. And I think I'm going to play Watcher next, believe it or not. Watcher, you heard me. Fantagraph. Hmm, any sign of bullet time? Nope. So, in Venom's not getting played, basically, yes. Good. Backflip, backflip footwork. Nice. It's no Caltrops either. That's fine, too. Overblocked a bit on turn one, but I have no complaints here.
This turn's not good. But once we're set up, we're set up. I actually can't. Hmm, I can't finale next turn. Interesting problem. Oh, wait, yes, I can. I miscounted because of uh, Tools of the Trade. Excellent. Good job, Tools of the Trade. Temporary cards going away. Grand finale. Looks like we've got a sort of every other turn thing going on with finale currently. We don't have an every turn grand finale yet. Although we don't have a lot of time to get one either. If only we had a calculated gamble. This would be a lot easier. Horn Betrayal. True. The finale would kill, but I've got money to make, dang it. GG. All right, we're on to... I guess there's one more boss, huh? We're on to Time Eater. Good talk. Good talk. Bim the Time Eater. You and I... You and I have business, Tim. Timbo. Timmy. Timmy Tim Tam. Tools, backflip, defend. We'll take a little bit of damage as this goes to 30, but that's fine. I'm gonna keep this piercing whale for now. Draw more. Loads of cards. So sure about this in Venom, though.
Flip, acro, two more. Die, 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 defend. Here. Keep the Envenom. And I guess Riddle with Holes, because we're going to play Bullet Time next turn. Would Envenom trigger Sadistic Nature? Yes, it would have. That would have been a pretty good reason to grab it, actually. Admittedly, that would have been a decent idea. There we go. Time meter below half. That's pretty good. Set up a turn for next, you know, a hand for next turn. Let's reset your strength, Timbo. Sounds good to me. Keep this riddle, actually. No strength for you. You heard me. Let's just go. Hand agreed, riddle with holes, have some poison. Next turn, we can play finale. Easy peasy like. Three more cards. Get rid of this, get rid of this. Block some, I guess. Seems pretty solid. Uh, next turn we draw six. Then we can finale. Keep the weakness up. Alternately, you are dead. GG. Two thump, two thump, two thump. A deep pulsing dread can be felt throughout the room. Is this the heart of the spire, the source of all this money? You prepare your daggers, dealing 1987. It's a good year for the stock market. The heart squirms and bleeds, but is ultimately still pounding. So we have lots of money. Let's upgrade a reflex. And the final shop contains the Abacus, Tough Bandages, and Calculated Gamble. Holy crap. Or maybe card remove over the other option. But that's pretty insane. That's now three block every time we discard a card. And yeah, you know what? I'm going to go with fewer cards. Not the Abacus. Okay, this should be more than enough to beat the endgame here. We're very strong now. Exceedingly so. Can I get to that gamble? Draw Flash of Steel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't have an attack that can discard a card, do I? Interesting problem. Sounds like I want to take a little bit of damage this turn and use the Calculated Gamble next turn. Oh, 
time is way down here. I want to do something like backflip in Venom Madness, perhaps? Draw one, two, three, four, five, six. Flash of Steel draws. Calc Gamble. Calc Gamble draws. One uh, draws. Yeah, lots of really good stuff. Um, but yeah, let's do this. Madness next. Okay, defend is free. I don't want to play the defend, though, because we want to take damage for Centennial Puzzle here. Got to be careful about that. And I think I do something like Fetch Endless Agony here. Get that out of the draw pile. Locom40, thanks for the Prime sub and the four months of support. Thank you for keeping it cozy. Block that. Well, I can't just Piercing Whale, huh? Hmm. Concerning. Although I can neutralize and then Piercing Whale, right? Guess that helps too. Never mind, everything seems to be good. Really good. Can even remove the no draw effects. Keep drawing cards here. Should be able to finale next turn here. Although the acro. Look at this actually. Uh, no, I can't. Hm. Oh well. Try that again. Draw five, we brick here. Do I have to wait till next turn? Can't do that either. Odd. Guess we can just gambo. No need to hand agree it anymore, of course, because we're past the final shot. Don't be ridiculous or anything. All right, good enough turn, good enough turn.
I can still do what I want, mind you. Thanks for the money. Hee <laughs> hee. Ding ding. We're in very, very good shape with the heart fight here. I see no problem whatsoever with the current battle plan. Could be a very easy fight, in fact, thanks to the speed potion. Phantasmal killer is cute. I don't think we need that either, though. Caltrops and Venom will be the bulk of, and um, even the Tingsha will be the bulk of our damage against the heart here. So I think we're in very good shape here. We go with full health. I'll take a panic button. It's really good with the orange pellets. And let's see here. Well, he plans is not too far down. That's a good start. Although it looks like I might just want to set ourselves up for an orange pellets clearing next turn. Just do something like Survivor and Venom die, die, die this turn. Do I actually have an attack? Yeah, I can draw into one. Plus, I have liquid memories. Okay, so let's speed potion. Survivor. Get rid of something I don't want to be free here. I don't want to play that madness, but it doesn't look like I can. Survivor and Venom Data Die. We keep five dexterity moving forward. Then we, in turn, hot garbage gets drawn. Want to play a power? Skill? And an attack. Remove all of the debuffs. Let's do backflip, delayed plans, calc gamble. Neutralize. Actually, let's bullet time here. Bullet time. Neutralize. Clear all those stinky debuffs. The hearts of stinky debuffs. And put all the powers in play. Very good turn. Now it's only a 1 by 15 from heart here. I do have Flash of Steel to deal with this if I want to. How about I deal with it using Calculated Gamble instead? Ding ding. I just on any of these cards is fine. Acro is perfect. It's the one I wanted. Draw six next turn. All I've got to do is draw two. No more cards. Unless I want to draw right now. Too late. This. This and this. Wait, I didn't play Caltrops yet? What's wrong with me? Good question. We play... Acrobatics. Bullet time. Our attack. Debuff removed. Now Madness has to hit this backflip. Seems good. Seems good. Let's 
these cards, huh? Run finale. Fun run. Very clean heart fight overall, too. BG, Mr. Heart. Um, draw eight, huh? Perfect. Direct. Yeah, very finely tuned deck for a very finely tuned win. Grand finale. GG. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next, and don't forget to follow on Twitch to watch the content live. Click the link in the description below.